What is up everybody? It's your boy Zani the Greatest and welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new and smash that like and smash that subscribe button. If you're really ready for Tekaichi, Budokai Tekaichi, Dragon Ball Super Budokai Tekaichi, whatever you want to call it. This is the biggest announcement in Dragon Ball history. I don't care what you say. I started watching Dragon Ball. If it wasn't for Dragon Ball Shin Budokai on PSP back in freaking 2007, I would have never touched a Dragon Ball or watched a Dragon Ball manga or watched a Dragon Ball series. I, I promise you I would not have done it. Dragon Ball Fighting Lore is where it started and Dragon Ball Tenkaichi is the best se Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball game, you name it. One of the best games. So today I'm going to talk about my predictions, my excitement, because I didn't really get to express that. I had to make a two minute video because I wanted that content up there. Appreciate you guys for liking and subbing, whatever that may be, whether it's three or five, I don't care. Appreciate it. Let's go. We got to do I'm going to be covered. I'm going to try and stay. Look, I'm going to try and stay up with all these content creators as well. I'm going to be looking at leaks. Be looking at files. I'm going to be covering everything as possibly can. I possibly can. To make sure that when leading up to this, we are in that algorithm for Dragon Ball. Because I, I just always wanted to be a Dragon Ball content creator. So this YouTube is a great place to be. I love all the content creators I watch. So we're going we're gonna to do this. I got a fighters gameplay today. I'm gonna play some fighters. Don't play that a lot, so might as well play it. Doing some arcade. I don't freak with all line. It's pretty toxic. Tenkaichi, like some of the Dragon Ball games already came out already. Like, like PS2 and all that stuff. It was already rolling out. So over the years, I got into Dra Dragon Ball Tenkaichi Tag Team, which was on PSP as well. Then I got into Dragon Ball Budokai. Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 2. And then three, Raging Blast. Um. You name it. I started getting some more and more Dragon Ball games as along that. That came down to Xenoverse 2, which, in my opinion, in 2016, when that game dropped, I thought it was the best. I thought it was better than Tenkai, the Tenkai Ninja. I was holding Xenoverse up to a pedestal. So, first of all, the announcement came out in Battle Hour. And while I was watching Battle Hour, the crowd was going wild. I mean, the, the, the energy was insane. The energy was crazy, guys. It was just insane to watch, especially when I was watching from my laptop on YouTube. Aside from that, I want to express the moment we knew that it was going to be a game. Like, we saw the reel of it. Oh, yeah, Budokai Tenkaichi. Knows and I was just thinking in my mind, I'm like, okay, okay, first thing I'm thinking is Naruto, right? Naruto had just had their release of their remastered version of all, you know, Storm, right? Adding new, you know, adding new content as well. Remastering for consoles, right? Huge for Naruto fans. Huge, right? That's the first thing I was thinking. I'm like, okay, so cool. Budokai Tenkaichi remake? Budokai Tenkaichi Remake? What? That's lit. Budokai, like, I was, I, either way, I was hyped. I was hyped even from the TV screen. And I was like, but then it kept going. And when that HD, I'm talking that zoom in with Goku powering up to Super Saiyan Blue, I I lost my shiznit, okay? I lost, <laughs> yo, I, what is what I just said? I lost it, y'all. I lost the guy. I was complete and complete shock. Let me do the snake way course and keep it simple, keep it light. Tenkaichi. I'm, oh my God. I, I don't know what to say, guys. I, I'm just going to fight it out. I'm going to take my anger out on these players right here. Completely amazing. Like, just imagine. Did you see the graphics, guys? Just the next gen is just going to go crazy. It's going to go nuts. Now, a lot of people are saying like, oh, no, it, I don't think it might be a... Uh, you know, a Tenkaichi 4, but it, it's going to be like something different, right? So my theory is they're not technically renewing or, sorry, making a new game. I feel like they are continuing it. I feel like the t the old TV way was them saying like, oh yeah, we're making Budokai Tenkaichi, but it's not just a remaster. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a remaster. This is an entirely new experience plus the remaster. I do feel like they're gonna have much of the old elements that we know from the Burukai Tenkai Ichi in there and just adding on them some. Just, just think about all the mods that are already created. I feel like, I really feel like just adding just new maps, new stuff like that and trying to expand the universe. Who's to say that this won't connect to Xenoverse 2? Everybody's kind of kicking Xenoverse 2 to the dirt. And I understand why. But if this is by the same, um, I don't think this is by the same developers as the first uh, take Aichi. Now again, if Dips is doing something on this, this makes no sense. I know it makes no sense, but say that Xenoverse was like, 
their way of trying to tap into that universe and Tenkai Ichi is like the finish or like product or something because again I, I still feel like Xenoverse 3 is a thing but I gotta be honest if this is the second if this is the arena fighter that's coming up I don't think Xenoverse 3 is gonna happen that's just me I'm not sure I don't think Xenoverse 3 is likely so I think they're going to make this a remaster and then combine it to make it like a long running process like Xenoverse 2 was and I think they are gonna still live service Xenoverse 2 because it is an entirely different game but I'm again this is just assuming that there's dimps the same developers even if it's not the same developers they could be trying to take from it I'm not sure I don't know man it, 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 it's, it's just I have no words but no guys uh we're gonna be i probably kept this video short anyway um like i said i play fighters from time to time play xenoverse from time to time um still trying to get into it dlc pack 16 is coming out oh while i am at it i did see the leaks or the trailer for the cell max props to them for showing that that is actually big that is huge beast needs to come out i'm sorry where's beast where's beast all I have to say is like, where's Beast? I have no, I have no intention. I mean, look, Cell Max is great, but Cell, if you have Cell Max, you have to have Beast because I feel like they're just getting the moves ready and stuff. Like that special beam cannon has to be locked in. Like the transformation has to be spotless. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like they're taking their time, which I applaud. But don't wait too long because if this comes out in like July, I'm gonna probably gonna be pissed. I don't know. You know, who knows what people are gonna be doing? They just be, they just be dropping stuff out of nowhere. Like out of nowhere. They're not like on top. I, I try to stay uh, not surface level, but I try to stay on top of what's confirmed instead of what's being leaked. So I try to like only cover like you know. Stuff like this, Battle Hour, like literally a showcase, proven footage of there being a tank Aichi 4. No joke, no kidding, no, no slacking. Like every bit of the name, tank Aichi. It literally said a new Budokai begins. Oh, I might lose this. I might lose this. Now if I hit them first, let's finish this out, guys. Let's do as best as we can. Let's get it. Appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new and we can get up into some more Dragon Ball Games content. See you guys next time.